All right, we are here at World Market. I asked some of you in the community if you wanted me to go here and a majority of you said yes. So we're gonna go into World Market today. I haven't been in here in, I don't know, maybe nine months. So I'm excited to see what they have. I have a little helper with me back there. Okay, <laughs> let's go in and see what we can find. So one of the first things that I came to were these spring welcome mats. They were about $17 each. I really liked this flowered one. That design was so cute. It's really hard to wrap my head around the fact that spring will be here before we know it when there is still snow on the ground where I'm at. So I am trying to adjust to all the spring things. So I came over here and I saw all of their beautiful art. Now they do have more online than they do in the store. I loved this one. It did not have a price right on front. This rainbow one, I know that design has been really popular and that neutral wood would look great in a kid's room. This one is normally $130. It was on clearance, but their canvas prints seem to be a really good quality. That one up there was $150. I would always make sure to check online. Usually you can find sales and coupon codes and I know there is a rewards program for World Market as well. Coming up, I saw this one. How amazing would this look in a front entryway? I loved the darker, rich tones on this one, and this one was $200. I love going on these shopping trips with you, but the biggest thing that I hope you take away is inspiration and creativity for your own home. I know for me, it helps me to see things that I love or don't really like, and then I can recreate those things in my own home or find the things that I love online. They had a lot of beautiful spring florals out and these vases, that smaller one to the right was $35. It was too heavy to pick up for you, but I didn't realize that all their greenery really looked pretty good. I loved a lot of the bigger trees and the smaller plants. Sometimes stores are misses on how well their greenery looks, but they had a lot of good finds today. This hanging one would be beautiful coming off of a bookcase or a floating shelf and each stem on that was $10. I took the time to smell some candles for you and I loved a lot of their scents. Most of them were very strong, which usually doesn't happen. So World Market did a great job with the candles. Here we have a little section of greenery, about $15. I actually have one or two of those already at my home and I found these adorable little stems. I think those are so nice just by a kitchen sink for a little pop of color. I really liked this vase. It was $17, which I thought was a pretty good deal. An individual flower in each of those, maybe on a bathroom sink, would be really nice to wake up to every morning or in the center of a kitchen dining table. And then I saw these little vases over here. What a great color for spring. This was only $2. I loved these colors of pompous grass in person. That one was a little bit pinker. I was so surprised to see these, but what a great statement piece in a home. I thought this eucalyptus was some of the best that I have seen lately. It was big and beautiful. It was $8 per stem. Look at these florals. I just think these are amazing here. So I will definitely keep World Market in mind next time I need to grab some greenery. These cute little guys were $10 a piece but stick those in a vase that you already have at home and it would just be a way to freshen up your decor. This little guy over here must have been the last one because I didn't see any more like it in the store. It was $25, but definitely what we have seen from Target lately with those sandy colored vases. Wow. 
what a beautiful sight over here seeing all the vases and the greenery I always love looking at this section and seeing what they have out these little guys over here string of pearls it came in the vase and it was $25 but I just love all the different options they have. They had some fiddle leaves up here in this beautiful two-tone vase. That one was $20. They even had that fake dirt in it, which I thought was pretty cool. I just love getting ideas for these and how they style things. You can see up at the top, they had little shelves with a string of pearls flowing down from it. So a great way to get ideas for your own home. I really liked this dark gray vase. This one was $10. And why do I always pick them up and the price tag is upside down? I don't know. But I actually have a cream version of that dark gray vase. Coming over to some of the candles and candlesticks. I love candles in my own home, especially on the dark winter nights, having that warm glow. I liked the wood tone of this one. This one was $15. I thought it was going to be heavy, but it actually actually wasn't. This one had a glossy finish to it and it was $8 but I liked that it was unique and different from what we usually see and this one right here was $15 as well. I usually don't stop in the body wash and lotion section, but these looked so cute. This body wash was $10. What a nice way to just level up your shower essentials instead of being in a normal plastic bottle. This eucalyptus bath and shower oil for $17 caught my eye. You know what? We all deserve to be pampered at some point in our lives, right? Self-care is so important as I I have learned with four young kiddos. So something like that every once in a while just to make yourself feel special is a great idea. This was hand soap and body wash. I just love those amber bottles lately. They just look so elegant. This section was also next to the bath section. So obviously it's meant for a bathroom, which would be great in a half bath. I know that we have a pedestal sink, so we don't have a lot of storage. That one was 150 and I did read on the signs. It said these were hand woven. So I think that's why they're a little bit more on the expensive side. That smaller one right there was 50, but those would also be great in a front entryway or a mudroom if you need some extra storage. These rugs were so gorgeous. These were a 3 by 5 and they were $25 which I thought was a great price. Pretty normal but oh man I almost took one home. I just couldn't pick which one I loved the most. Here we have some placemats. I always gravitate towards the light ones, but I thought this darker one was unique, especially because I have lighter tables in my home. So what a great idea to have a darker placemat. A lot of these were $6 a piece. Let's head over to the kitchen section. I love this section. I saw these beautiful pink glasses. They were $4 each. They also had clear ones in the same style as well, but those were so cute. If you had floating shelves or glass cabinets in your kitchen, having that displayed would be beautiful. Coming over here, I saw some dishes and I did take a moment to look at a few. We are getting ready to put in some floating shelves ourselves and so I'm getting excited to decorate them and I couldn't help but look at all the adorable things over here. I liked these ones with the little flowers on them and this teeny tiny one was $2 but three of those together would be really pretty. 
Coming over here are some trays. This one is one of those wood discs and I've never seen one elevated like this before so I thought that was really unique. That would be great on a countertop. That one was $30 and then this one also had that live raw edge to it and it was $20. You could put moss balls, decorative balls, you could even put fruit in that one. I love their cutting boards. I have a few World Market cutting boards in my own home and I actually came home with one today so I will show you that in just a little bit. This one was gorgeous with those striations on it. That one was $30. This gold and marble tray was $35. I have this in my own home and I've had it for a while now, so that's definitely not anything new. And then this gold and marble tier tray too was also $35. They had it in a few different sizes though. Coming up here is a black cutting board for $30. I love a good black cutting board and that handle at the top is so adorable. They had a few cookbooks. I like using these if they have a really pretty binding on the side for decor in my kitchen as well as actually using them. I saw these glass olive oil containers and I did buy this one. It was $8. I love the dark green color to that it also adds just a pretty color in your kitchen. These wooden bowls with the cute adorable legs were $40. A great fruit bowl for the middle of a kitchen island. Look at this teeny tiny wood bowl. It was $2.50, the cutest little thing ever. And then I saw this olive oil container. I almost got it. It was $15. It just wasn't the easiest thing to hold and try to pour, but you'll have to let me know in the comments if I need to go back and get that one instead. The salt and pepper shakers were $15 each. They were a pretty big size, so a good price for those. I liked this little bowl with the handles. I really have a handle obsession lately. It's becoming a problem. This one was $8, but would be beautiful on a floating shelf in a kitchen. These utensils were buy three, get one free. I didn't need any right now, but I like that they have a variety of colors to choose from. This wooden bowl was $30. I love the dark tones and that. And then this little guy right here was $24. I'm not sure why why that one was so much more than all the rest, but this one was $25 as well. This was a beautiful taupe color. It was $17. It was made out of plastic. It was not glass and heavy, but that would be beautiful on a counter as well as functional. These cutting boards I thought were adorable. The round with the handle, they were $25 each. If you cook a lot and use a lot of spices, these wooden risers for $35 would be great to actually have on your kitchen counter with your spices displayed so you could easily use them. That wooden tiered tray was $40. I love looking at the canisters over here. They had these ones that were two-tone with the wooden spoon for $15 each. I actually just bought almost this exact same thing for my kitchen. If you saw my 25 kitchen organization and hacks, I put my pink Himalayan salt on that and displayed it out on my counter. I love the marble container. Coming over here to a few more candle sticks. These gold ones were $8. Those would give just a nice elegance to any dining room. And I thought this wood one was fun. The design was very unique. They were $10 each. You could put different lengths of candles in those and you would not need to get different size candle holders. Coming over here, I saw some more rugs. I am in the market for some new rugs. So I think they are exciting to me. I love 
seeing all the different patterns that they have. These ones were around 100. There were a few over here that were 80 as well. World Market always has a huge display of pillows. A lot of them are that bohemian look, but if you look through them, you can find other ones as well. If you don't know about these special pillows over here, they are always $13. Every color of velvet pillow you could ever find. They are decent quality and they are pretty soft. I always look at these when I go in the store. Next to the pillows were some of these baskets. I loved all the different shapes and sizes and colors that they had. This one over here was 50. Again, a lot of these are hand woven, so I think they are a little bit more pricey, but you are getting something that's unique and not everyone will have the exact same thing, so I really like that idea. This one down here was gorgeous with the two tone on it, and you could totally use that as a hamper. It was $90. This little guy right here was $25. I could definitely see throwing socks in there or little toys that your kids have laying around. I also like a basket by my stairs so that when I need to take things up every time I go up the stairs, they're all corralled in a basket. World Market has their own little market, at least that's what I think it is, with a bunch of coffee, syrups, and ethnic foods from all over the world. I always like going in here and seeing what I can find. I did buy a few things over here. I will show you that in just a minute. I liked that cute little dish for $1.50, and this cutting board was also amazing. Over here, they had teas and tea kettles. If you a tea drinker having this sit on your stove would just be adorable throughout the day they were about thirty dollars each Coming over here to more of the bigger furniture pieces, this mid-century modern, I really think it was modern with those gold stripes on it, that was $600. And then this smaller one in front was on sale for $450, but that would make a great console for a TV. Coming up over here, we have some coffee tables, $3.50 for both of these. Those are both popular. I have seen them around for a while on different websites as well. This great chair was $450, but I did sit in it for you and it was super soft. I would definitely have that in my own home. This table right here was beautiful. It was $800, but I like getting ideas. See how they have that cloth chair at the end? I did something similar in my own home with cloth chairs at the end of my formal dining table. This gold tray right on top here was $30, but I did like the unique design of this coffee table. They also had a matching end table with that scalloped design on the side. That was really fun. I found a few more pillows for you. These range in price from $25 to $30.
All right, I did pick up a few things and I wanted to show you what I got. So I did get this beautiful green olive oil container. This was $8, but I love the beautiful color. I think that will look great on a kitchen counter. The other thing that I got was this cutting board that I saw. This was 30, but I love the detail and the handle up here. So this is going to go in a DIY project that my husband and I just worked done and I'll give you a little sneak peek of that but I thought this would look so pretty in there. The other things that I got were just some little things. I did get this waffle flavored ground coffee, waffle flavor and caramel so that sounded pretty good and then for a little house warming gift for my sister I got her this coffee and I mostly got it because <laughs> The packaging was fun and some French toast syrups. I can usually find some crazy flavor of syrups there. Um, I think last time I got my sister a rose flavored syrup. So they have a nice selection of foods from around the world. So it's just kind of fun to go and look and see what they have. So that was it for today. I hope you enjoyed going to World Market. They have so much more on their website than they do in the store, but it's always fun to go in there and see things in person and see what they have. So I hope you had a good time and I will see you back here soon.